So you're saying that thing is filled with that hydrogen sulfide stuff? That whole column? That's what she's saying. I mean, I'm not volunteering to check. But all our pressure tests went into that. On a nice day, maybe the gases just drift away. On a cold day or during a blizzard? That thing fills up like a bottle of invisible death gas and spills over. We're lucky it collected in one area this time. Well, crap. Is this new? Did I miss something? Has this place always been filled with invisible death gas? It's mixed in with the crude along with our propane. Normally, they pump it back into the ground or use the flare stack to burn it up. That sounds good. Let's do that. We can't. Unless you know how to get that stack lit, laddie. The proper way? Get the pilot ignition operational. Who knows what state it's in? But in theory, any spark up there could start it. So climb up there with a torch and let's do this already. Heck, I'll do it. <sighs> You'd be incinerated. I remember firing that stack in the old days. You felt the heat all the way down by the water. Getting the pilot working would be the best long-term solution. But that will take time. And propane for the generators. Great. Can't we just shoot a flare at the damn thing? You're not helping, Sarah. No. No. That would work. It would be fast. But it's a temporary fix, not a long-term solution. And we only got two flares for emergencies. A giant column of invisible death gas feels like a pretty good emergency, if you ask me. 